What's up, y'all? It's James Disciple Johnson, national president and founder of Disciple Christian Motorcycle Club. Yep, that footage is ugly. That's our prospect, Anders, from Thailand, charter of Disciple Christian Motorcycle Club. We were shooting some video. He came very close to hitting me and instead ended up dropping his bike. These two girls almost got taken out. It's crazy. They had to jump out of the way. I was standing on my bike. I sat down, I hit the brake, and he was so close to me with the second camera that he nearly hit me and ended up laying it down in this curve. Because uh, it was kind of an unexpected curve there. And I uh, didn't do too much damage to the bike, but you can see he was so close to me, it was crazy. So to tell you the story of what happened, here we are leaving uh, our hotel in Koh Chang, Thailand. And you can see me pointing to my helmet. I'm asking him if his camera is on because he has a camera on his handlebars. He said it was, so we took off. And uh, Koh Chang Island is Elephant Island right off of the north coast of uh, Thailand. And uh, we had a great night at the beach and then we had to get home. So you can see us cutting through some traffic. You know, Thailand has different rules than, say, the United States, and so, um, you know, this very slow traffic, we had to get around it. And uh, it's, it's quite epic, quite frankly, riding in Thailand, because the rules are so very different. So you can see me cutting uh, between oncoming traffic and the traffic in my lane. And we were taking the curves kind of hard, you know, we were pushing the bikes because it's fun, and, uh, you know, we enjoy that kind of thing. You can really run up on it there. And again, cutting through traffic. You know, traffic's not going super fast. But this is kind of how it works in Thailand. And right here, you can see Anders almost go off the road there. If there had been oncoming traffic, he crossed that line and he would have actually just gone head on into someone. Uh, so I think he was pushing his bike maybe a little too hard. There was an incident like that yesterday, uh, the day before this happened as well. And uh, But, you know, each man has to ride his bike, you know, how he thinks is safe. And, yeah, so we're cutting through. You can see me rocking out. I've got my music on. And here's the first time where I stand up. So this is why he's behind me. He's got a camera on there. And we're trying to capture some footage of me riding in Thailand, standing on the bike. So you can see me wiggle the bike around and then just, I lost, uh, I hit a bump, something, I lost confidence, so I went ahead and put my hand down. And uh, we weren't really getting the shot we wanted because the road was too rough here. And so we'll try again in a second as the road gets a little straighter. So you see me sit down, I hit the brakes. Every time I sit down, I hit the brakes like that. Anders hasn't gotten used to that, and that's what caused the wreck. So we speeded it up just a little bit for time here. And uh, yeah, I love epic stuff like this. Yes, head on into oncoming traffic. I think it's so much fun. Cutting the double yellow line. I know some of you are going to say that's unsafe. It's Thailand. Deal with it. There was worse stuff. <laughs> so you can see us just kind of riding the, the yellow line. This is kind of what people in Thailand do. <coughs> I'm not leading the pack. One of our guys from the club is leading the pack. I'm just following along. So finally I find a space where I can stand up on the bike and get some footage as we go past that pagoda or wat to the left of Buddhist temple. And so we get that epic shot and Anders is tucking in right in behind me. Even though the GoPro makes it look like he's a long distance from me, he can't be more than 8 or 10 feet. Which at these speeds. So you see me sit down, I hit the brakes. And he just didn't have time to react. So now I'm spinning my bike around, you can't see it, um, but I'm coming back to help him out. So as you pull up to an accident scene, you're doing something called scene size up. Is anybody else injured? Is he up and walking? What needs to happen with the bike? Let's get it picked up in case any fuel may spill out of it. He's not the urgent problem right now. I don't want the bike to burn, so I'll get this picked up. course it's an urgent problem that he's injured and I'll get to him just as quickly as I can but it looks like he's up and walking in an open road rash and he's a little shaken but he's doing well he's he's assessing himself 
these ladies here. You can just see that they're in shock, looking at his bloody arm. I had forgotten there was a camera on the bike, so I turned it toward me. I got too close. So I wouldn't capture the rest of the event. Yeah, you probably got it too. Yeah, I hope so. Oh. There it is. It's ugly. That was the worst of the lacerations he had. And, if he uh, had gloves on, it would have been better. Yeah. All right, let's see this first. What happened? We were filming. He was right behind me. I was too close. And he just grabbed the whole You were too close to what? Me. He was right behind me. Oh, the bikes? Hit each other? No. No. I didn't hit him, but uh, I didn't want to hit him, so okay. I, I brought talk and and, uh, and you fell. So I've been trained as a medic and I always carry a jump kit with me that includes gloves and medical supplies for exactly this kind of occasion. Controlling bleeding, bandaging people up, getting them off the side of the road. Here we're in Cochang, Thailand. I don't know if there's any emergency services available. I don't know if there's anyone who can help us, so we need to be ready at all times. We're literally on a tropical island right now. We have to take a ferry back to the mainland. Here I'm doing a head to toe on him, so I'm just checking to see if he's got any damage anywhere else on his body. I'm actually pulling his pant legs up to check if there's road rash. Also checking around his waist. Sometimes the shirt will get pulled up and I see blood on his shirt, so I wanted to check and make sure there wasn't any additional blood anywhere else that needed to be cleaned up. I've already cleaned all the minor wounds, but now I'm working on the major wounds. Of the regular size large band-aids out, and some of the cream. There should be some cream on there as well. At this point, my hands are covered in blood, so I'm asking Slim to pull the gear out of the medical bag for me. That's why I'm prepared at all times, brother. We good? Yeah, thank God. You good? Thank God. Yeah. You good? Yeah, yeah. Okay. All right. Thank God we have a medic in the room. I should wear my gloves. All right. I'm covered in blood, though. I want you to get the marker. Yeah. All right. All right. So at this point, I'm bandaging up several macerations he has on his right and left hand. I've already cleaned the blood off, but now I'm just bandaging it up. And you can see some medics have arrived. They have a little moped. And uh, two medics arrived on one moped. I don't know what they were with them if he needed to be transferred to the hospital, but they did show up in time to help me clean that large wound. And uh, I had the supplies to do it myself, but obviously it's good to have help. So they're spraying a wound wash on his arm. And they're literally just wiping the crap and all that good stuff out. It's a very painful process, quite frankly. I feel bad for Anders here. Because we're on a tropical island six hours from home, I'm going to check the function of the bike and make sure it works. Uh, yeah, take it for a little ride, maybe. I've got it bent back out, but maybe just make sure that everything's working properly. In a second, you'll see the scrape marks in the pavement, how deep they are, how long they are. But the bike does seem to be functioning. Before we get our brother back on it, we want to make sure that we check the bike to make sure it's working. Now comes the bowing. Everybody bows to each other. That's how you thank people in Thailand. And off go the medics on their little moped. Camera's okay. Yeah, we probably got. I know we got some epic footage of it, if nothing else. Oh yeah, epic footage. We have footage of what, how it looks going. And hey, hey, if you don't quit, you'll be one of the few guys to make it to an accident with disciple that doesn't quit. It's true. Most guys that get into a wreck riding with us quit. This so, is my my sec second, second. I got to hit from behind once. I got yeah, yeah. this one and now this one. So I got two road tattoos. Yeah, we were on a ride and he got hit from behind. Went down. Doing okay. If you enjoyed this video, make sure you see all the awesome free content we put out by rotating your device and clicking the red icon to follow our channel. God bless you. Thanks for watching.